Hello everybody, welcome to Atomic Heart, the new action adventure game from Moonfish that looks a little bit like Bioshock, set in a Russian future, based around the advancement of AI intelligence. That's about all you need to know for now, let's jump in and check it out. Here we go. I really oh. love this place. Straight into it. Vibes. The Cello May complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> wow, that's a very interesting introduction. Straight Tell into the world. Floats on the Icarus platform. A feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Man, this looks pretty good though. Look at this. Very interesting. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Okay. Oh, we get a. Sh uh, yeah, sure, thanks. Sure, thanks. Oh, there's a time limit on the audio responses. On the uh, responses that we get to make. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Who am I talking to? Wow, what a beautiful day. Am I talking to that thing on my hand? What's up with your Vovas bots, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Hey, look at this place. It's so unreal. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. I hope there's a lot of verticality in this game, because I feel like there's so many oh, thanks, uh, so many options to explore going through like hovering hovering bases and things like that. Okay then. Get to work, you bums. Move look, it. look at that up Move in the air. <laughs> oh, you did it! Thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Huh. So the glove is sort of like an upgrade we've received recently. Okay. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. <laughs> so here we are. And facility guests. Oh, this way. Wow, this place looks pretty good. Huh, okay. Reach the park. No rest for the wicked. Wow, it really slows you down if you're strafing, doesn't it? Can we go swimming? Oh, it just doesn't let you in the water? Okay, makes sense. I guess we're 
but like half a robot with his hand on, with his glove. Wow, the, the fact that it slows you down when you're strafe is a little bit off-putting. So when I walk forward and then I like strafe to the side, it like slows down a lot. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. They really went all, all out on the environment and the, like the feel of this place, didn't they? Like there's so much going on everywhere. Comrades, that does not look friendly. When all the planets of the solar system, we will reach our the most distant star. I've got a question. Yes, comrade. How may I help? Well, what can you tell me about space? So, what do you think is mankind ready to leave its home? So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? A philosophical question, but if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. Alright, I think I'm good now. No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for 10 minutes, and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You're being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. When all the planets of the solar system all have artificial atmosphere... I'm gonna imagine that some of this dialogue isn't sort of meant the same way that we're going to take it just because it is a Russian made game so some of the dialogue is obviously going to be directly translated and it probably doesn't mean exactly the, what we think it means when it's been translated to English but we'll see. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome Comrade Major! Today is a joyful occasion! The birthday of Collective! Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Oh, hang on. The capsule. That's what we need to inject. Oh, into the hand. <laughs> That's sick! You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. 
Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Oh, here we go. To activate the scanner, hold right bumper. Like that? Okay. Use the scanner. Demon oh, there we go. You have to double tap <laughs> it and hold it. That's a highly user friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Okay, leave the lab. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. I mean, there are a lot of robots here. Oh my goodness. Change the wow. Okay, mate. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look. At oh, how mate. This thing is sick. I wonder how far the sensors actually go. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers <laughs> and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his body controls. Yeah, not to leave. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I present to you the device. Proceed to the office, okay. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of All in all, so far it feels pretty nice. For all mankind together. It doesn't feel like it's holding a stable 60 frames or like it's a little bit stuttery, but nothing too nothing too crazy. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing. Hmm. Unfortunately, my monitor doesn't have uh, VR, so. Individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels. Man, how bloody tall is this building? Loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every. It's very strange because most of these games, they sort of start you out a little bit slower. Your potential will be and introduce you like to the mechanics well not the mechanics necessarily but just i don't know the world i guess slow but this one just throws you straight into it like not any sort of introductory scene or anything talk about style science is power i tell you the boss Damn. has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles i really respect that there are no obstacles science cannot surmount other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Okay, get in the turbine. Oh, so we... Hang on, what? Is it behind me? Oh, over here. Interesting. Do we have a start menu? Okay, we guess we don't have any sort of weapons or inventory yet. 
Okay. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. A glove upgrade already? Like we just started. Didn't didn't they say we just recently got a glove a glove upgrade as well? It's all progressing very quickly. I wonder what this upgrade will do. You see this? Like when I'm walking forward, it goes like at a little bit faster speed, and at some point it slows down as I strafe. It's very off-putting. I don't know why they did that. Journey. Isn't there guess, supposed to be a radio in here? I guess we're not driving anywhere. The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from one of them. I get city. it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Oh, mate, we are high up. Look at that. Are those clouds? Oh, we're floating. This isn't on the ground. Oh, damn. I didn't realize that. Also, I wonder if we'll travel to, like, different, you know, city-sized platforms. And it's been less than an hour. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. <laughs> Don't you That's think that may have been not exactly what he said, but uh, nope. for some reason your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? 
Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Oh, there's the real ground. All the way down there. Okay, so they haven't completely destroyed the earth or something. They need to live in the air. The ground seems like it's still okay. It's incredible how chilly it is as well, just being carried through the air. Because it does not look very, I don't know, secure? <laughs> I guess we're going to the ground? That no, looks like we're going down. This Wait. is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. Maglev? Cool. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. Yeah, they literally got robots for we everything, are currently they? flying over sunflower solar farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. I wonder if this game is going to be more linear Maglev or... Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. Huh. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Babylon Complexes of Buffalo Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Babylon Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh. What the 
hell are I you slip. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? She's so chill. Mate, who else is getting iRobot vibes from this? <laughs> Atomic Heart. Okay, so that was the intro, essentially. Showing you the world, sort of setting it up. So the robots have turned. They are uh, now hostile. What is the first mission objective? Alright, so it begins. What is that? Is that water? Oh, nice! First weapon! Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the. I mean. What? Victor. Oh, you can swim upwards. Hang on. Maybe not, I don't know. Huh, strange. Alright, let's just Victor go this Petrov way, I guess. Victor is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session of action. Mate, that, that pig actually injured me a little bit. <laughs> it's funny that they say they're hostile, look. The chicken, like all the animals and stuff. Here we go. We got something up here. Time to try out our new axe. Okay, I guess we got a heavy attack and a light attack. Deal a heavy blow press there. Yeah, hard hitting attacks, but it takes a lot of time. Dodge that while moving. Gotcha. Ooh. The heavy attacks really take a long time. Okay. Is that not dead? Huh, cool. The combat feels okay. I mean, it, obviously it's just melee. It feels very, I don't know, Bethesda-esque, I guess? Like, you gotta sort of really move in as you're about to hit, because this heavy hit is so slow. Holy shit. 
shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help me! Oh, what's hey, going you, on, man? coming. You alive in there? Thank you. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Uh, go fuck yourself! Did that robot just trick us? Get the fuck off me! <laughs> What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. Granny That's Zena. all you need to know. <laughs> Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked! No, it's grandma's gosh. badass! <laughs> Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to me! You hang on to that key. I got this. Damn! Holy shit! Man, how far are we falling? Is the granny still here? No, she's up top. Yeah, right, mate. Light a, light a cigarette. <laughs> now is the time for it. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Alright, what have we got here? Oh my god, that is such a sick way of of collecting materials. So you can just hold this down and go around and just collect everything. Small new roamed capsule. Was that like health, maybe? That guy's not friendly. Oh, you can you can collect that as well. Metal parts near a polymer? Wow, okay. 
We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Interesting. So you got like, we just got an audio playback and uh, a wheel for something? Probably to attach to a door maybe, to open it up? I think this is a dead end though. I guess this is just to open the door in the room we were already in. We'll play this back. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. To the right now, complex. I'm in. Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major oh, Ibrahim. Oh, yeah, I'm human. You need to come with us. Alright, let's turn that off. I want to keep going here. We've got the wheel. Just when I thought we had a buddy. I don't think the skin... Oh, it actually goes all the way over there. Look at that. The skin is pretty strong. Something over there. I'm not sure what white actually represents. Oh, safe areas. Break rooms are the game's safe areas. Each is equipped with a manual save game machine. Okay. Shotgun shells, not bad. Fading data. Oh, that's it. Just one click, say game saved. That's it. All right, cool. Moving on. <sighs> and the machines rose. For Forewarned is forearmed. Enemies can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Oh, upon seeing the red light, a uh, red highlight, press B to dodge. Yes. Gotcha. All right, come on. Let's try this out. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shingo, why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, like that. Whoops, we accidentally chopped our body down there, but that's alright. Got some resources, so I guess clicking down is health? Yeah, full health. Okay. It wouldn't hurt to collect. Collecting resources and massa. If there are a lot of crates in front of you, hold right B in their direction and move from one to the other without releasing RB. This will allow you to collect all the resources from the crates in one other go. Yeah, we sort of realize that. Way, Major. And this is such May a nice. You that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it. Then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or sick. something. Mate, this is such a nice way to to collect resources. I'm surprised this hasn't been implemented in any other game. Note Granny Cena. Oh my god, there's a lot to read here. It's about the incident germination workshop, cordon off the hospital where the victim is being treated, let no one in the ward other than the medical personnel. Okay. Cool. So we could go in there, there's a lot of stuff in there actually. Man, this is like resource heaven. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. 
I think I'm just going to collect as much stuff as we can right now. This is the start of the game. It's probably not the worst idea to just go through all this stuff and grab it all. Oh! There's a robot. I didn't even realize there was a robot in here. <laughs> Oh, what? That not work? No, I can't get out of here. Oh, I'm like stuck. Alright, I need some help. Oh, what? We got a shotgun? Alright, I'll take that. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So there's different... Weapons equipped to different things on the D-pad, okay. A little bit more health. Okay, starting to get the hang of it now. Yo, I don't know what that takedown was. That was a little bit strange. Like, I, I clicked B and held B and tapped B, and none of them worked, so I'm not sure. Nothing else here. I like that there's a little dot, so you know actually if there, if there is something to collect or not. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Alright. Did the job. I find these lighter attacks so much easier to work with. Like the heavy attack just goes so slow. This view is also kind of strange because if enemies do start creeping up on you, they can really get the jump on you without you noticing because like them, like this red glow, it flickers a little bit and it only updates intermittently, not all the time. It's a little bit strange. Alright, let's go, buddy. Yes. I'm finding a lot of these clocks. Neuropolymer. I can't get in there now. Alright. Guess we'll finish looking. Let's see if we can get over here first. We can. Maybe we're not meant to go over there yet. Alright, let's just go through the door. Continue searching for Victor. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes. Oh, whoops. Probably should have listened to that. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. 
And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! Oh. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! No shit, avoid the beam, are you kidding me? Oh, it's like a boss fight, look at this. Whoa. Oh man, he hits hard. Or maybe we rip out the shotgun soon. What? Oh, he took me out. No way, mate. That is hard to aim with the shotgun. It's almost easy to go in and just do melee attack the whole time. Just because you got to sort of just swing in the general direction. But the shotgun, I mean, obviously, uh, you got to aim the shotgun correctly. But it's, I don't know, the, the aiming is a little bit jittery. Especially on the uh, on the starting sensitivity. I don't know, maybe I'm just bad. But I think for now I'm going to stick with the axe. <laughs> Definitely feels a lot easier to use than the, uh, than the shotgun. I guess it, it just take a little bit of getting used to. I wonder how far the game's going to set us back here. Just to that, okay. Mate, I get hit a lot. Oh, I get knocked around, mate. Yes. Surely. Nice. Yes, we got him. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's actually interesting. Nice little mini game. I like how they've done that. It worked. <laughs> oh, here we go. I was gonna say there's like an arrow down the bottom. I wonder what that that means. So we got a map here as well now. System unavailable? Oh, that's unfortunate. This is our one of our weapons. This is another one of our weapons. Medium neuromed capsule. Restores health. Oh, so we've got a few medium capsules to restore health. Interesting. Some rounds of shotgun. Bye-bye. I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Okay. Doesn't look dangerous. 
Save it? Why not? What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough of the jocks. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need what? to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions! Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong-ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? <laughs> what? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, choose a skill. Interesting. Well, this is the only one we can choose, obviously. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Bye. Your glove can produce an electromagnetic discharge that targets enemies and does electric damage. Robotic targets are especially vulnerable to electricity. Huh. Switch to crafting? Oh, how can I resist? Oh, wow. Now let me show you what I can do. Choose Professionally, upgrades. I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever. A crushing round has blow fancy. starting and ending Weapons with the first target. are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. But I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful Interesting. weapon. Interesting. Split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. Oh, it changed my heavy I'll show attack. You what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lust and abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Mate, this chick is so strange how she talks. Like, she's so sexual. <laughs> Alright, save and continue on. First upgrade acquired.